Anyway, chat. Uh, what was I saying? I don't remember at all. We were, uh, slightly disturbed on that one. Oh, I was talking about... Uh, I was talking about the anniversary. That I don't think it's mid, I just think it's straight up bad. And then there's a video going around of Mist... M Mist, you know, the FCO creator. Uh, talking about the anniversary, and I don't—I don't mean this as an attack on Mist at all. He's great, you know, good, good, good guy. Um, but he was saying that people are exaggerating, essentially, that uh, the expectations for this anniversary are higher, but people are like forgetting how bad the anniversaries were in the past, oh, like, no. like anniversary number one. Uh, but I went back and I looked at what's in the earlier anniversaries, and I completely disagree. Like, anniversary number one is way better than anniversary eight. Anniversary number one added the Grail system, which is probably the best system they've ever put in the game. Like, I, I, I honestly don't think I'd like this game that much without the Grail system. Uh, they added animation updates. Uh, they added various uh, other, like, uh, uh, quality of life updates with, like, SQ and, and things like that. It's not even close, right? Like, anniversary one beats the piss off of uh, anniversary 8. And then the other excuse I see a lot for Anniversary 8 is, well, they added a lot of this stuff that you would expect for the anniversary before the anniversary, like the skill tree system. But that's, that's no good, because, like, the skill tree system is not really that great. Uh, it's nothing like the Grail system. It, it's got a terrible UI. It's just an excuse to, like, move the goalposts and whatnot. Really is not a good thing for the game. And then, like, adding new banners and giving people mana prisms or SQ, those things aren't very meaningful to me. Now, to a lot of people, they like, oh my god, this is so awesome, they gave out a rare prism or whatever. But I don't give a shit about that. What I want to see is things like them adding the Grail system to the game, or making the UI better. That's, like, huge priority for me, is making the UI better. Uh, adding an account system, change adding new fun things to FP summon, making a second FP summon, maybe to divide up things so it's easier to get specific things. Maybe adding a targeted summon for story summon and FP summon, so you're more like, like if you want to target Ku or, or Ushi or whatever, you're slightly more likely to get them, right? A lot of games do that, right? Adding a, a rotating story banner or something like, these are the things I want to see, right? I don't, I don't care about them giving out 300 SQ or 20 SQ or, I, I, like, I'm not mad because they only give out 100 SQ. Some people are, I don't care. Them giving out only 100 SQ is not really, uh, that, not really relevant. That's a nice bonus. I'm always like, you know, uh, Twitch smile emote when they give out a very large amount of SQ, right? Like, for, like, anniversary, uh, like, six or whatever, they gave out a lot of SQ, right? And, like, sure, I'm like, cool, right? I'm happy about it. I don't really care, though. I, I don't, I don't feel like I'm owed that. I'm not angry when they don't do it. It's a nice thing that they do sometimes. So the fact that this anniversary had so little SQ is not the reason I think it's shit. The reason I think it's shit is because they haven't done anything meaningful for this game in terms of the UI account system or actual tangible quality of life updates in like the last two years. Uh, other than the other anniversaries, right? That's the only time they've done anything. And actually, for the most part, I would say they've actually made it worse. I would say in many ways, FCO is getting worse as it goes because it's getting bloated. They're adding more meaningless UI filters they're adding more things like uh, the class skill tree onto the UI. It's like another ta tacked on thing, right? So the UI is getting more unwieldy. Uh, the, the mission menu, right? Like when you turn in dailies and stuff, it's becoming unbelievably laggy because it's optimized like trash and there's a trillion things in there. Half the time when you click something, the game freezes for like three seconds before you can actually do anything, right? It's getting worse, right? So I, I stand by that this anniversary is worse than all the other anniversaries. It's the worst one. I think I think anniversary one blows it out of the water. Go back to the wiki. Go to the event list on the wiki and find anniversary number one and look at what they added. And I think it's just better. Okay, what? The people are saying they can't hear anything, but it shows. Huh. So some people are saying they can't hear, and then some people are saying they can't say they can. Yeah, I was looking at like at my OBS, and it shows that my volume is going through. Got no dropped frames. My mic is working. Uh, it looks like most people can hear me. I guess just a few people couldn't. 
But yeah, anyway, I, I recommend going back. I tell you though, I didn't look at anniversary number two. Let me find that. Let's find anniversary number two. And let's see what they did. Let me put this up on stream here. What did we get for the old anniversary two? So that should be 2007. It should be somewhere around July or August. They kind of, okay, there we go. Now, God, they, the wiki likes to separate all this stuff uh, all the time. So anniversary number one was the grail system, which is just, that's massive. Like, I think this is like the pre-campaign or something. Uh, man, I, I played this event. <laughs> I remember these. This Mozart CE is so good, dude. It's one of my favorite costumes that of course they never added uh, to the game. Uh, yeah, seriously, I would love this as a costume. That 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 drip is out of this fucking world. Like that's some S tier shit right there. If we get uh, we're grading that on the, the drip tier list, which I will get back to. It's just there's a lot of other stuff to like talk about and do right now. So, uh, but okay, hold on. That uh, that's not the meat of the anniversary there. Oh my god, it go that's so silly that it does that. Okay, so... So you get- I guess they made it so you get more bonus SQ when you buy SQ. Oh, this is when they added the ticket, so you got to pick. Uh, Marcellus, thank you for the 39 months, dude. We need more costumes. I completely agree. Uh, but yeah, they added in the regular exchange ticket, which is nice. Uh, the updated, uh, yeah, that's for like for your daily login and stuff. That's, a, that's, that's more meaningful than anything they did this anniversary. Um, it's just typical login bonus. Let's see, what else did they do? Obviously, they have AP, great success, all that stuff. Uh, strengthening quests. Is that all they did, though? I, I know the, the wiki's kind of bad at tracking some of this stuff, so it can be really hard to find what they actually did. Uh, right, they made it so, like, when you beat, uh, Singularities, you get SQ for new and old accounts, which is nice, that's, uh, you know, permanent SQ rewards are better than temporary ones, in my opinion. Th this anniversary is fairly lackluster, too, though, I will say. The anniversary one is definitely better than this one. But I would still say that that, that exchange ticket is still a, a pretty nice change that is, like, I, what, th what did they do in anniversary eight that's good at all? That's, like, permanent... Like making the game better. Uh, yeah, I guess Golden Sumo. That's fair. I mean, that that is legitimately really nice. I, that that is fair. Um, Golden Sumo was really good. I would say Anniversary Two and Eight both look pretty blah, though. Right? They both did something. that's like, hey, that's nice. That is good for the game. But nothing that's like, oh man, this is just such a meaningful, awesome thing. Uh, anniversary One is definitely better than this though, because Anniversary One had animation updates. It had the Grail system, which is unreal. Uh, I think they added the that's when they did I think I have to check again I think it's when they added that 10 rolls were uh, 30 SQ instead of 40 and that's fucking massive Right, so anniversary one beats the piss out of two and eight. I would say uh, But no overall uh, and also I think this is fair, right? It's kind of like inflation right? expectation inflation is real and to some extent it's you know unfair but i think a chunk of it is fair because the other games are better now right other it's it's it is so unacceptable to not have an account system in the year 2023 right like that's more unacceptable than it was before right i think i think most people would agree with that like that's more unacceptable now they've had more time to do it they've had more money to do it right so them not doing it in anniversary eight is worse than them not doing it in anniversary two Right, but yeah, anniversary two is probably the one other anniversary that's kind of mid. Uh, but I, I still think it's a little bit better. But it's kind of apples and oranges on that one. That's pretty subjective. He didn't quite kill it. That is surpri That is surprising as fuck to me. Did I forget to cast something? Did I mess something up? He doesn't have an upgraded NP though. But but he's 120, so I, I'm surprised by that. I, I I'm I'm truly surprised. But also he made 71 stars off of two enemies, not even three. So that that is a legitimately like something to keep track of that you may not have noticed like that that is that is quite good. All right, I think we need two more. I, I do so many things to make sure I never lose my uh, account code. 
especially for my main. Uh, I have safety nets on safety nets on safety nets. I mean, sure, it's possible that Summer 6, they add quality of life updates or something. They do that occasionally. And if that's the case, that's fine, right? Because some of my old time viewers will remember I've said this. I've always said that I don't really want all of the expectations to be on the anniversary. The, the, reason it, the reason why people put all this expectation on the anniversary is because they've been conditioned to do so because nothing good ever happens outside of the anniversary. They, they, they generally don't add something major like an account system or the rainbow chain system or the grail system. They, they generally don't do that kind of stuff uh, if it's not the anniversary. So when, when the anniversary goes by and we don't get story replay or anything like that, your heart sinks because you know there's almost no chance of it happening until next year. That's why. That's why everyone gets so pissed, right? I wish it wasn't like that. I wish there was a chance that they do animation updates at any time or they add an account system at any time, or fix the UI at any time and stuff. But it's, it's not. They don't do that. They don't historically do major meaningful updates just randomly. Now, maybe they're changing. Maybe they're shifting, right? Maybe we're, we're going to go into the future where they do start doing that. And then I will retroactively forgive this anniversary. If the rest of this year, if from now, mark my words, chat, if from now to anniversary nine, or before anniversary nine, Right, they start doing really nice stuff like improving the AI, uh, AI, excuse me, the uh, UI uh, uh, and things like that. I, I'll, it's fine. I'll, I, I'll tell you what, if any event between now and then, you know, does any like really meaningful update like story replay or whatever, I'll just say, hey, this is way better than, you know, in, in, you know the other updates and I'd, I'd rather have it now than never, let alone waiting for the next anniversary, right? Uh, and the reason why I didn't give them a bunch of praise because uh, what I saw a lot of people saying was like, oh, people are being unfair. I've seen content creators say this, right? I, it's just copium. I'm trying to defend, like, the game. But they're saying, like, all of this criticism of FGO is not fair because we got all the cool stuff earlier. No, we didn't. The class tree system is not great. It's shit. It's one of the worst class... It's one of the worst skilled talent trees I've ever seen in my life. Right? It's just an excuse to farm more. Right? Uh, and the UI is worse than ever. There's no... Ana the animation updates are gone. Like, who the f- It's not like leading up to Anniversary 8, things have been awesome and we're not giving them their due credit. I would say it's the other way around, that people have been like, this is shit, and then they're pinning all their hopes on it. It's so shit, but hopefully Anniversary 8 will be good. But no, it's been all shit leading up to Anniversary 8, and then Anniversary 8 was also shit. So now it's like double shit, right? So all the people I see saying that, I think, are just trying to find a reason to, to defend the game and act like this this criticism is not entirely fair, which is just ridiculous. Like, it, this critic if anything, there needs to be more criticism. This game does not have a goddamn account system. I mean, what else needs to be said? We haven't had animation updates in like a year and a half. I mean, like, what the fuck, right? Like, I mean, what, what, what else needs to be said here? Uh, that's a, certainly a unit of all time. Uh, you know what, let's see, uh... I don't I don't know what is this what is this CE it's only level 40 uh, this isn't gonna be great I could just use mine but mine's level 90 but we've been testing a lot of level 90s out where do you think it's a good place to aim for in terms of NP level for extra classes units like cuckoo or Arcoid, uh, NP2, generally, I would say, if you really like them, right? And you're like, oh man, generally NP2, most five stars will feel good enough at NP2. Uh, now, if it's like, if let's say Cuckoo is your favorite character of all time, you're probably going to want to at least get NP3. But uh, if you're just like, hey, Cuckoo's pretty cool, I would normally go for NP2, right? And if you don't even care that much, then just fuck it, just go NP1. Uh, and Cuckoo's kind of weird because she's very strange with like no high normal card damage and that kind of thing so yeah it, it is and I, 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 I if you really want good advice i always say give specifics right like what do you have what do you, what are your goals in the game and i'm not going to get annoyed by that i i you can't give me too much information i normally like that kind of thing so
I, I don't think I ever attack the devs, right? Like, I, I'll attack maybe the management in terms of, like, policies, because I think they clearly have some very unhealthy policies and just, like, really dumb policies over there at Lizangol, Flash Type Moon and all, Anaplex and all that. But I don't think I've ever really personally attacked Tucson or any of them, and I don't think I ever will. I don't do that kind of thing. You know, it's a machine. No individual part in the machine is responsible for the overall problem. And a lot of those people are working a lot and, and that kind of thing. Sometimes it's just there's too little staff or the higher ups don't want to, they don't want to hire the staff that you need and that kind of thing. But you know what? That's not the fucking consumer's fault. Th this is something I see all the time. It is not the goddamn consumer's fault that a company has moronic management or you know, orders from on high are really bad. That is not our fucking problem. Our fucking problem is to you know actually enjoy the thing and give them money and that kind of thing. And they have to give us a product worthy of giving us giving them the, our money, right? You know, the, the details are up to them. That's literally their job. Like, I'm not trying to be rude here. This is just fucking reality. It is the developer and the publisher's job to get the internal stuff sorted, right? And if you've got something, if there's something wrong with your workflow or your production line or any of that stuff, that is your fucking fault, right? That is your fucking problem. That's not necessarily the far fault of an individual employee, but it's certainly the fault of the company at large. And that is, that is just not the goddamn consumer or the critics uh, problem and not in the slightest. And I, I see people, you know, defend, you know, Blizzard and shit all the time with that kind of garbage. And it, it's just ridiculous, right? And it's kind of like, you know, you'll have other companies doing something a lot better and then people are like, yeah, but that's not reasonable to expect this other company to have that good of a workflow. It's like, no, actually it is, right? Like that's, that's, it's not up to the, the customer to fix your fucking, you know, poor workflow or poor management. Yeah, you know, if other companies can figure it out, so can you. And like Arknights is a good example of that because Arknights has a lot of that shit sorted out and they don't even have that much money. So what the fuck are you doing there over at Lizangle? All right, let me see some big numbers, Lancelot. Ugh. I would have liked 300,000 to be honest. I don't know where we were with alignment and all that kind of stuff. If we were at negative alignment, then that's completely acceptable. Uh, but if we we're like positive, then that, that's a little meh. I mean, he's got an upgraded NP and he's got some damage up, so. I never really let my judgment get clouded by spending money. It's kind of funny though, you see two camps with that kind of thing. There's some people that spend money on something and so they want to get their money's worth and they, if they don't feel like they're getting their money's worth, they're, they're like happy to jump to criticism or putting the company down or the product down or whatever it is. And then there's like buyer's remorse where they're trying to like cope and act like they, they didn't make a bad decision and they didn't spend their money poorly and that kind of thing. And actually, I see more of that on the internet than the uh, the prior one, but uh, yeah, that's definitely a thing. Yeah, if he was negative alignment, then 286 is fine because you probably would get around uh, 300 or more otherwise. So that that's actually not um, that's not bad. All right, hold on. Let's see. I I think we're still short uh, a lancer gem or so. Dude, farming gems is such a bad experience. And I imagine if you need to farm like 50 of them, it's just get out of here. Like, if you have to farm for one three-star, it's not that bad. But, you know, if... It, okay, yeah, we need two more. But, it, like, farming for one unit, it's, like, bearable. But for all three skills, or even a three-star, and you got to do the three skills and the three passives and all that, I mean, it's just terrible. There's no reason for it to be this ridiculous. And we got a half AP for crying out loud. Oh, let's see... Sure, why not? I'm not gonna bother changing the bond boost because I, I, I don't really care enough. Yeah, King of Sawn's a classic when he first came out. Because my King of Sawn is in P1, and he always has been, and uh, I, I've 
always been, you know, pretty rare to use five stars and all that for like videos and that kind of thing. I've never 10 10 10 my King of Son because I just have never felt like it was worth the QP and and that kind of thing. Even though I think King of Son is super cool and all that. But for the because I'm going to use him really rarely, when I do use him, if I want to do a solo or just show him off or whatever it is, I'll, I'll just summon a friends, right? I've got a bunch of friends that got him at. Um, at a 10 10 10 and all that, so I always feel like, what's the point? I absolutely am gonna bother with the class tree, though. I'm not. I'm not gonna let that many upgrades pass my coup by. It's a, it's like 50% extra attack damage up, 10% NP damage up, uh, and then you know variety of quick buster art damage up. And then some crit damage up, and then charging up. I mean, it's it's all it's a lot. It's dumb, right? Like I totally accept like the whole system is. I forgot to get NP gain on her along the way, and I don't think she has a battery. Okay, she does, but it's not enough. So we're gonna lose her other buff. Uh, it is what it is. Bit of a whoops there. I do not think Gil's getting buffed. I think that's very, very, very unlikely because he just got buffed somewhat recently and he's not really in a bad spot or anything, so. All right, well, this isn't fair. She's mi missing so many buffs now. She's missing two sets of buffs. That's her fault, though, for not having enough battery. Oh, Kid Gil. Kid Gil could use it, but I'd much rather see Billy get it, but Kid Gil could use it, too. The burbs. And Kudu's been having a pretty bad day. Only 171 though, but if we had those other buffs, it would have been like 240, 230, something like that. All right, one more Lancer gem. Honestly, these buffs have been so stupid. I don't really expect Billy to get any kind of like none of these upgrades, especially for the low stars, have been a really tangible, clear cut. This unit has a, a blatant one or two turn value increase, right? That's just not none of them have been like that. Guess I'll use one of mine. We'll just go back to the old Mordred, potentially for the final one here. The Alter Ego class tree though will eventually, the same upgrades you do right now will still apply to other extra classes. Uh, I'll, I'll explain this like more clearly in just a second when I can show the, the thing. I'd love Billy to just get a straight attack up on his battery skill. That'd be great. Or a quick up. I prefer attack up though because you're pretty likely to crit with a buster or an art card after in ping. Like that turn or the turn after. So it'd be nice if those benefited from the attack up. Like quick up wouldn't hurt, but it wouldn't be anything special. That being said, I would expect them to do quick up because of that because they've been kind of doing underwhelming buffs. Wayne deserves a buff. I, I think that's fair. But uh, Rama deserves it the most. You know, I want to do that crit just to see it. And it shouldn't kill. It's for in first place, so it could be higher than this. 157 though, not bad. I'll be looking at 180 or so later in the chain. So basically 400k, and you de you definitely can get 400k depending on low high rolls. So not bad. I don't think we got a gem on that one. Fuck. Chat, imagine if we had a system where you could turn like. 10 red gems into one gold gem 
Like, when am I gonna use 495 red gems? Jesus Christ. They used to do rank ups outside of the anniversary. Uh, they used to do them. They used to do buffs a lot more than they do now. I don't even get it. There's more units than ever, so there's more reason to do buffs than ever. Uh, but they're doing them less than ever, and that started maybe like two or three years ago. They really, I'd say about three years ago, they really just started to slow down doing buffs to a crawl. It's because they're fucking lazy. I'm sorry, dude. I've been following this game closely for a long time, and it, I'm calling a spade a spade. The 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 management of FGO, they just. They're not doing shit, right? They put the the amount of main story, the amount of new enemy sprites, the amount of animation updates, the amount of buffs, the amount of new modes, the amount of like actual work that goes into this game is tiny. It's fucking tiny. Now that's not the, necessarily the fault of an individual developer that's like a coder for the game because they may just have fuck all coders on hand so they don't, you know, they can't get it all done themselves. But the company at large is just not trying. They're not putting like the money into the game to hire the people they need or to train the people that they need. Uh, or they're just not prioritizing what needs to be prioritized at all. Or, or, or they are just lazy and no one's fucking doing anything because, you know, it prints money, bitch. Uh, but it's ridiculous. I mean, there's no way around it. The, the output of this game versus the money they make is, is pathetic. I mean, it's actually pathetic. Might as well uh, see that crit again here. A little bit less that time. So low high roll. It does very much apply to the normal attacks as well. Yeah, Geronimo needs two solid buffs for his first and third skill. See, now we did more damage though. Last one was 3, like, 96 or something, and that one was 408. So not a massive difference, but got over, got over 400k instead of under it. Ma, eh, oh god, I thought it was a Lancer gem. I've been debated. They're making me waste all of this AP game. I mean, what I don't like is there are so many. Okay, look, people will complain about Gwen or whatever. And it's not like those units can't use a helping hand, but they're solid enough. There are so many units that are just garbage. Like, why would you ever use Geronimo, right? Like Geronimo and Ben K, uh, Jekyll and Hyde. And so, I mean, these units are, and they're not like, you don't need a PhD in fucking FGO balance to see how unbelievably bad those units are, right? There is a world of a difference between their level of bad and everyone else's. Right, and they just don't buff them. It's like, what the fuck are we doing here? It is hilarious seeing how bad Jekyll and Hyde is when you actually test them. Okay, this music is looping. It's been looping a lot. I'm, I'm trying to fix it, but... I swear, YouTube intentionally makes playlists bad, so you use YouTube music instead. I swear, if Geronimo, if they make his quick up AoE when they buff him, I'm gonna be so angry. Unless they make it AoE and then add a bunch of other bullshit to it, then I wouldn't care, but if all they did was make it AoE, I'd be so fucking angry, dude. Like, that'll fix them. Like, are you kidding me? And some idiots actually think that would fix them, so... Oh, I've been scuffing Mordridge. I should be doing the, uh, Anniversary Blonde. She'd do more damage. So she can actually get bigger numbers than this. Let's see some Arthur damage. Now, that's way lower crits than Mordred, but he didn't have the attack up either. Still would have been lower, though, I think. He's uh, level 90 as well instead of 100. Oh, 428 though. That's way higher than before. And if I had done Anniversary Blonde, it'd probably been like 440 or something. Are you kidding me, dude? I have done so many of these fucking stages now. 
Getting mad, chat. Getting mad. I like how we're not getting to use any of the buffed units because of this crap taking Hello. so long. Yet another loss. That's not confusing at all. Come on, game. Just drop a stupid gem. The thing is, Atalante, it's fine for her to have a large quick up that's AoE. Because, one, yeah, hers is a, a larger percent. But she's also a fucking quick unit. And she already ha and she's got a good uh, other abilities. Right? And even people say her star her uh, star gather is not good. It's fine. Like her her total gameplay curve is pretty smooth. And it's because the cooldown's so short. Like you do the star gather on a turn, you have medium or meh stars, you crit, then you NP, then you make so many stars that you can crit without needing the star gather. And then after that turn, you star gather again because the, the cooldown is so short, right? Like that that's basically the that's a nice gameplay curve. Then she has hard survivability. She's got good enough NP gain to loop. She does good damage. She's not like some god tier unit or anything. Don't get me wrong, but like she's completely serviceable and fine and light years ahead of Geronimo. What's ridiculous is if this wasn't during the half AP period, this would have cost me an un unbelievable amount of AP. Like, I've already used a bunch of apples doing this. And this is just for a three star for one passive. I forgot to bring. I should have at least. I would have loved to have seen the damage difference, man. God damn it. But you know what? We'll do the. Uh, we'll do the double here. 189, 210. That's probably gonna do more than the NP. And if it was in third place, it'd probably have been like 220 or so, if not higher. Okay, that was still 236. It, it'd have been hard to beat that. Dude, what the fuck, man? And see, now I can't do Anniversary Blonde. I, I have to, if I wanted to switch the fucking Mystic Code, I have to do all this. How many Medea NPs is that? Well, if it's at class neutral against Lancers like that, it's like... I don't know, eight or some crap? I guess it depends on the Medea. If it's a level 70 Medea, oh, you're gonna be there for a while. So now we objectively have more damage, but because of low high roll, we could still technically do less. Statistically, though, we're more likely to do more. Get that crit buff just for funsies. They, I don't like to stream farming and I normally don't, but when I'm this close to maximum Q, I, I've got to do it. I think chat can understand that. It's the only skill of his that I didn't have and I just unlocked it, so I got to max it out, obviously. FGA is against Terms of Service, so no, I obviously haven't used it. I have no reason to risk my account or do anything against Terms of Service when I don't benefit from it. I don't need help farming, thanks. I got coup from the Saito right up. Got him in 10 summon tickets and 60 SQ to get two copies of him. I've used over half a million FP this last week though, and I got zero coups from any of that, so that was great. Okay, now I can't Buster Chain though, so the, the crits won't be as impressive. Do it anyway though. 178, so good. So I think 436 was the highest damage we saw. 
put the uh, regular attack up. 471, so it's still higher. Even I don't know if that was high or low roll, but... If that's not a high roll, then we could maybe get to 500k. Are you kidding? What the fuck? I've done like five fucking stages and I haven't gotten one skill gem. You make me so mad, game. Oh, and some people act like... I, I unironically still see people saying that blue and red gems are harder to get. It's so dumb. They have, you could not be more wrong about something. I know why, though. It's uh, Whenever someone says that, I know exactly why that has come about. And I'm sure there's an exception. Not every person ever is going to... This is going to be the reason. But most of the time, it's because of this. When you're new to the game, your skill ranks start at 1, right? So you start leveling up all your different characters. You're you know, brand wide-eyed to the game. You have, like, 70 characters that you need to level up the skills from 1 to 4 and 1 to 6 and all that, right? You have so many characters. And so the initial thing that's hitting you right off the bat is blue and red gems, right? So you have all this time where you're slowly uh, sl slogging through uh, blue and red gems, right? For all these units you're working on. And you haven't had a single reason to use a gold gem this entire time. And so for all this time, right, anytime you have gotten a gold gem, you haven't used it. So when you finally get to rank 6 for those first few units you care about, you just have the gold gem sitting there and you already have enough. Right? So then it's like, oh, I had to sit there farming to get the blue and red gems, but I've already got the gold gems. Just boom, I go straight to 10. So it's easier. And so that that's, that's what it seems like at first, but anyone that's been playing this game for a long time knows that that catches up with you and you, you I don't I don't need to finish this sentence. You, you know where this leads. You know what happens when you play this game enough. You know, you just have this giant stockpile of red and blue gems because they just objectively drop way, 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 way more. Uh, and you got this just giant ass stockpile and you're like, okay, well, where are the gold gems though? Because when you keep leveling units, the only thing you are waiting on is gold gems. Because it, it's a million things. It's just a fact that the, the gold gems drop less. You know, that's just an objective fact. And then there's a bunch of stages that you will farm naturally. That was almost 500k. That was so close to 500k. There's a bunch of stages, though, that you'll drop through various events and stuff that can't drop gold gems, but they can drop blue and red gems. And then you'll finally get a stage during an event that can drop a gold gem, but it's only for one class, and the drop rate is really, really bad, and it's just not going to, like, go anywhere. And then when you do lotteries, you get more red and blue gems, and you get gold gems, right? So there, it's just... there It's a undeniable scientific fact that no matter what, gold gems are harder to get in all ways. There are lower drop rates, you get less of them from lotteries, and then there's a bunch of stages that will drop other gems, but won't drop gold gems, right? So you, you, they are the hardest one, and you need the same amount as the other ones. Like, I think you need the same amount of all, all gems uh, per set of skills. Yeah, if you, if you could convert, that would be so nice. I have... Holy shit, I have such a stockpile of gems. Oh man, I won a daily chat. And look how long it takes for the game to actually load it, and it just freezes again. Jesus, dude. Alright, chat. That's the wrong button, because there's so many fucking buttons on this UI now. I can fi- I mean, this isn't- I guess isn't actually maximum Q anymore, though. It's maximum Q in terms of upgrades that are directly pertaining to Q. Right. Uh, but the skill tree does ultimately affect Q, and that's not max. But it's also physically impossible for it to be maxed right now. I've done no upgrades for any other skill trees, so. Whew, finally, dude. The, I made the absolute right decision, though, by prioritizing battery the lowest. Uh, it's very, very nice to have, but because of Ku's gameplay, it is the least important for him. Unless you're only farming and nothing else. But then Ku's not really uh, that important. I mean, Ku can be okay for farming just because he is an easy unit to NP5 and all that. And upgraded NP, high, the highest attack set of 1 to 3 star Lancers. So there's good stuff there, but no battery, none of that kind of thing. 
Yep, yeah, Bond 15, 2k foe, got all of his buffs done, 10, 10, 10. Uh, 10 to 10 for the passives, NP5, got the faux pause in every single card. Pretty, uh, pretty much all you can do. And then I, technic, I have almost done everything you can do with the skill tree, but like, there's one tiny thing I could do that I haven't done. And I, I've been keeping my game, it's not hard to load, I swear to God. I've been keeping my capsule things here, like at five out of nine, or four out of nine, or six out of nine instead of zero out of nine. So like right now I could have 60 more blue uh, dust and that could potentially be another skill up that I don't have right now. So he could be slightly stronger, maybe. Okay, it depends on which upgrade path you're taking though. Let me give him some command codes though, cause I've got, um... I've got, uh, what do you call it? Yang CE equipped on my support list, but I don't actually have a burn thing equipped, so that's a mistake. If you're soloing, you only need two. I find one on Buster, one on Quick is the way to go. It's like optimal. If someone summons your coup though, and they're using him in team play, I find you want to have three. If not all. Do you think a fourth passive will be added? Maybe. It it wouldn't... Uh, it's not going to surprise me either way. I could just... It, it'd be so unsurprising either way. People keep saying they think more is going to get added because there's room in the UI, but that means nothing. There's been room... Oh, that's this, They're copy-pasting the same UI they use for a bunch of other systems in this game, and there's been blank slots like that for all of them. Right? It's, it's just like... Uh, it's just a generic thing. Now that's no reason, because other things aren't using that extra space as well, that doesn't mean that they can't add a fourth passive. Like, sure, they still might do it. Uh, but that really means nothing. But they might do it just to give you more reasons to get coins and just never-ending cycle and, and that kind of thing. Let's see. I don't know, I might not give him Yang CE for my support list, just because some people are, going, are not, not gonna want it because it's so busted. And then also for farming are just like fucking around the starting NPs nice. Hmm. Like it is hilarious how strong Ku is though if he has permanent pierce and vulnerability and does 40% more damage all the time. But uh, we'll go with the easier to like start off, I guess. We'll go Golden Sumo. Where's the Abigail one for the uh, attack removal? You don't really need the heal one because uh, it lowers your guts attack up a little bit. And a lot of times that kind of heals not enough to matter for Q. So why, uh, why bother? Now if it's Servants, you go with that, but I'll go maybe just generic crit damage because you, you don't know what they're going to be fighting, so... Oh, I didn't have Golden Sumo on anybody. Excuse me. Chat. Look at this guy. Like he, I, I, I love my first support list here. Like these things are not created equal. <laughs> like fucking Sanson with Q. I mean, are you kidding me? Dying over here, man. Let's see, what do I have slotted for my riders here? Okay, that, that was kind of just cause she was buffed. I don't need that there all the time. Uh, I like that. Who would I give this to? Maybe Mordred? Just because I like Mordred a lot. Probably fine. Bart with this 10% battery. Yeah, what are you gonna do? Uh, I, I, need to, I need to update this. I could probably come up with some good shit. I don't think I'm ever gonna change this one, though. This one is so good. I, I love this so much. Like the, uh, the Roman, the Rome CE. 
Uh, and this one I like too. It's got, it's easy to not see that one. I've been Sansing twice this stream. It's ridiculous. Uh, this could be better. Let's see. What do we got? Hmm. I have to think about that. Do something with the book, maybe. There's options, but yeah, I can I can improve that slot. I feel like. Got her with this. That's fine. Yeah, I like this. It's uh, mostly aimed at challenge quest stuff, less so farming, and then uh, a lot of budget units and that kind of thing. I should probably give him uh, Kaneth CG. I got so focused on saying Kaneth there, I actually almost said it. But I'm always, like, really mindful. And you know what? Jolter with this? Yeah, right, I'll do that. That's kind of funny. I'll give her some burn command codes here real quick. For that 2102. I don't think anyone's gonna summon that, but you never know. It was good for Lost Belt 7 to have uh, Yang CE. A lot of reasons to have Pierce of Vulnerability there. Um, let's see. Let's see that one. Probably just gonna give her a lot of burn because I'm too lazy to like really give her an optimal setup and I don't need to put burn on anyone else so she's not gonna step on anyone else's toes right now. There's a filter to do burn only. I think these might be the only four though. Am I forgetting one chat? Is there another one? Wouldn't shock me if there's another one but uh, oh yeah, there's that one. Well, look at all that burn. Burn, burn, burn. Let me see if there's any other, like, CE mishaps in here. Uh, pretty reasonable. Could maybe be better. No one's using Golden Sumo. And uh, once I level up my other golden sumo, which I'm at, what I'm doing right now is I'm trying to get the um, this one up, because in the right circumstance, this is really, really, really good. So I do want to get this to 100, but 94 to 100 is brutal, dude. Uh, I'm, I should at least get that go my other golden sumo up to like 40 or some crap, so I can start putting it on my support list, because uh, having two of those gives you a lot of options. Uh, wait a minute, does he need um? Oh, I fucked up. No, 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 I do have super scope. We're good. It's just easy to not see the little star there. Okay, yeah, this is all fine. About this one. This looks pretty good. Could give him his bond CE or something for farming, but I'd rather get summoned less, but when I, but when people really want to summon something to help them out, I want to be more helpful. I'd rather, get, I'd rather be summoned for when you're having a, a challenge quest moment. Or try to do a budget setup or a main story fight. That's what I want to get summoned for. I don't really care if I get summoned for your fucking QP farming. I, I don't care about that. Um, I could slot like one rider for it. Like one out of the three. But I'm fine with what I got. And like even this is kind of fun. Because you can NP with her right away. And she's got that five turn buff now. So... I should I should have a damage dealing caster though, shouldn't I? Because uh, there's no Babbage here. These yeah there is okay yeah Babbage probably replace Waver I guess. I don't know Waver is just so universal in that what you can use them for, but I really should have a damage caster up. And this is still budget so and I, I like to help people out do budget stuff because I know like Saber Nero summons me because I put up budget stuff a lot. Uh. I target my own kind, if you will. Okay, third level 32 is pretty crap. Who's got the other one? Uh, I'll also give it to Babbage, because he needs it more. And uh, he's probably more likely to get summoned. You know, I could make him gold. I, I, what I've been doing is, I've been grailing a lot of the low stars I really like, but I don't want to grail them enough that it really has any effect on, like, if I make a video. I mean, some idiot will be like, oh, he's 75, not 70. But 
Uh, I want to be able to like show that I like them and whatnot without it really mattering. Uh, actually, I think silver looks better than gold, by the way. Well, that depends. That is not always true. Like, Gilgamesh would not look better if his armor was silver, no way. And, like, Get a Babylon's glow looks best as gold. It just depends. But I, I like the, like, class icons as silver. They look cool. I like bronze the most, though, actually. Bronze is my favorite of the three. Like, bronze is a really cool color. Big fan. Uh, this could maybe be better. It's only level 55. And we don't have, um... I, I don't know. Golden Sumo, once the other one's leveled up, would be really nice for uh, Mori. Because starting NP is actually quite nice for him. It's actually so nice that I should probably do it. Like, it's cool to see that big damage, but... Gotta be practical here. Okay, that's the 41. That's the 61. What could I give... Romulus? I like Tesla having that. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? Let's see if I can level this a little bit now. Cause go cause he uses those art cards a lot. Braille yeah. Rosh is really nice. Oh. Well, I don't have a lot I can do here. I'll level it as much as I can, but I'm sitting on a decent amount of FP again. I don't even know where I got all that FP, but uh, might be some three stars in here. Certainly don't need the mana prisms. All right, I'm lazy. I'll do one more, but that'll be enough for now. I don't need these jewel swords. I have so many of them limit broken. It's no problem. I can't remember if that one's good or not. I've already burned a bunch of them, but uh, I think it might have a little bit of niche use. If you're doing three star CEs only or some crap. All right, that'll do. All right, golden sumo number two. Probably gonna be a hundred someday. That good chat. Eh, up to 32. That's enough to not be a joke. I like how it doesn't actually super success and it's because it's like stored XP. It has to super success into that one for it to matter, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. They don't, they don't want, it's because they don't want you bouncing it around and like, because you can like bounce around until you get a super success, right? That's kind of what they're, uh, what they're doing with that. Yeah, I mean, people still do pun for Golden Sumo, but you really, you got no justification, chat. You all, you all now have no excuse not to have such a nice universal craft essence. That helps your normal card damage, your NP damage, your crit damage, your extra attack damage. What what other craft essence are you going to get that easily, chat, that helps all of that stuff and then also gives you 50% starting NP? Where else are you going to get all that? But my mana prisms, it's so worth it. Like, it, it's so worth it. Also, holy shit, I, I, I've got 28,000, basically 29,000 mana prisms, so... Uh, not really a problem. Also, I was always missing one of these, so it was really nice to get the uh, final one of that. Also, this is legit really good. This is really nice to have. And if you can't get the rare prisms to get the Attila one to, like, fight, uh, what's her name? Uh, Buki? This is another option. This is completely worthless. Don't, don't buy this. There's no reason to buy this. Like, it's only worth it if... You don't, like, Black Grail's bad because of the, the damage to you, which can happen, and, you, and, like, the extra damage on Black Grail is a diminishing return, and you don't have a Limit Broken Heavens feel, right? Uh, that's the only reason to do it. So if you don't have a Limit Broken Heavens feel, Black Grail's uh, overkill and its wasted value, which is a thing, that, that is a thing, that's the only reason to use this one. And then you're not going to, like, need a bunch of damage at the beginning, right? 
that is such a, like a niche on a niche on a niche on a niche. So it's not, it's really not practical. What does it do? It increases your NP damage every turn, but it caps to where it's like the same as Heaven's Feel when it's broken. If it didn't cap uh, so early, it'd be a lot better. But yeah, the cap is way too low. And Heaven's Feel doesn't have to wait, right? Heaven's Feel gives you the maximum amount right out of the gate. Or that one, you have to wait like five turns or some crap. So it's like, what the hell? Is old and bad. Chat, there's really nothing to show off with Ricky's buff. It, it, it really just didn't change anything. It just, it does not matter. It, I, I don't know what to do here. It sucks. Could do the drip tier list. Although we could use Koo real quick for something. Just to see the, see the good. Yeah, we could do some drip. I think we're still on riders. We need to finish the riders up. Let me go just smack something with Koo because I feel like it. Um. Fuck, if we fight Richard, I should go give him burn a command codes and do Yang CE, so let's not do that. Uh, we'll go fight like Liz or something just to have a, a beat stick that we can hit. Although it'd be kind of fun to counter class and see, because you normally, if you're going to use him practically, you probably would fight an archer. I can't think of an archer that I have available, though, that would give Ku any... Like, he'll win so fast. You're not gonna get much testing out of it. There's Ishtar, that's nothing. There's Tesla, that's not gonna be much. And we could do Nito again, but we already did that, and he had like four or five turns of survival left, so it's not gonna matter much. Um... You know, we do have the Hurt Columbus fight on one of my accounts. That'd, that'd be a fun stage to do for fun, but I kind of want to fight an archer just to show how bullshit, like, his damage is going to be and all that. Um, it'll just be... I can't think of one that's got enough health to really show, like, when you're at low health. Because in a proper fight, when, like, the enemy's pushing you, you NP normally with your guts up at high HP at the start, and then you do it again later in the fight at low HP, and you get to see the damage difference, and it's really cool. But, like, Tesla and CCC is not going to be enough to see that. Like, you'll, you'll just kill him so fast. Uh, I need an archer with just, like, a giant sandbag amount of HP. There's the caster in Epic of Remnants free quest. It's got, like, uh, 800,000 health or some crap. But that's not an archer. But I need something like that. I guess you could use a berserker, too. I'm trying to think if there is a berserker that's going to push you like that that I have. I don't think so. Because you have to kill Herc really fast. Right? I mean, we could do Herc and Columbus just for fun. Um, chat, do we want to, I kind of want to go full disgusting and, and use Yang CE if we're going to do that. What do you, what do you think, chat? I, I, Yang CE may not even be needed because you just need sure hit there. It's kind of broken. Like the, the starting NP might actually be better, but it's really funny. That's the thing. Because I, I, no joke, I have seen times where the extra damage from Yang CE is just so unnecessary and you don't need Pearson Vulnerability. Because Pearson Vulnerability is a huge part of what makes it so good. And so if all that happens, you really, you're better off with the starting NP. Uh, I, is it the Herc account? Fuck, what account is it that has that stage? I'm, I'm struggling to remember which, which stage it is. It's, it's, uh, maybe it's a Steno account. That kind of sounds right, because wasn't Steno in the video that I used it? We had, like, the smile off or whatever. Yeah, I think it is the Steno account that has that fight. Uh, that's, that, that does seem right. Now, the Gil account doesn't. It did, it did most of the Epic of Remnant, unfortunately. I wish I hadn't. I wish I had kept a fight, uh, back then. I at least kept Lobo, but... Um, I don't think they have a defense up, so no need for that one. Do the crit damage one. You, you, they might make it where you don't have to do the ordeal calls eventually, where they, like, because they did that with 5.5 and 6.5. When they first came out, you had to do them, but then eventually they made it where you could skip them. It wouldn't shock me if ordeal calls are like that, but then I can't really skip them on my main, but that means I could save them on some ult accounts for some fights. Uh, it'd be hard to remember, and then sometimes you can't summon your friends, so then they're not very good and that kind of thing, but still, it might be something. 
Then you can keep an epic of remnant fight and you can keep an, an ordeal ball fight. And they just add story replay for fuck's sakes. Like, it's so dumb we even have to do this. What do I- I guess just Gilgamesh. They're both servants. Fine. Although Ku crits a lot now. With all the changes and stuff, Ku crits like crazy. Now, unfortunately... Uh, I am still missing a lot of really nice stuff over here. Like, uh... So right now, what I'm doing, because I there, there's no way to get both NP ups. You can't do it. Because they're, uh, each NP up is gated by, uh, like, these. And they're, they're, you can't have two of these. These blue stars. There's only one. You cannot have two. So you, can, you either get this NP up, uh, or you get this one. And I went with this one because it has, uh... Uh, this quick up along the way. The quick damage up right here. 4% quick damage up. Where this one doesn't. So I figured it was more important. Uh, obviously though, eventually I really, really want that. But anyway, but in the meantime, I can get like this extra attack up, but I just, I don't have the, uh, the stuff. Wait a minute. Can I actually get this right now? I can get 60 dust. Uh, do I already have this one right here? I don't think I have this upgrade. Yeah, I think I have to get this one. So I could get this right now, which is Buster crit damage up, but I, there's no, it's not possible for me to get this one yet, I don't think. I don't know, the ones that you can, wait a minute. See, the ones you can buy, but you don't have are like, oh, I see. This has the star because I'm capable of getting it, right? Uh, this one, uh, it doesn't have that little glowy star thing right there because uh, I don't have the points for it. So I could get this upgrade right now and have 4% buster crit up. But there, there, I, can't, I can't, it's physically impossible to get this one right now. Can't happen. Uh, I'll have to use all my capsules though eventually to try to get this as soon as possible. Because this is a big upgrade. That That's that's a significant thing. Um, yeah, there's that extra attack up. And then, is there one more? Yeah, so I'm missing out on 20% extra attack damage. And Stargen and NP gain too, actually. Uh, so that's that's pretty significant. Does the card damage up apply to NPs? Yes. Uh, the crit ones obviously don't, though. Your NP can't crit. So yeah, the, the total NP damage up you can get is actually pretty no noteworthy. Oh, apparently no one had the good golden sumo anyway. Alright, let's jump... ...on... ...Steno account, because I believe that is the correct account. Chat, Cairo, I think, finally decided to play the co-op account again, and then he realized he lost the bind code. Uh, and he's been trying to do the account recovery process, but they have not given him the account back yet. They keep saying he's he's not giving them enough information. And what they keep, what they really want him to do is give him uh, give them a purchase history, but that account has never purchased anything, so there's no way for him to do that. That's why you should always buy at least one SQ, though, on your account. Yeah, I know. This is why they, they need an actual account system, so. See you, Red. But man, I want to play the co-op account again. And if it dies because Cairo lost the account, I'll be very sad. Yeah, he could make another one. What we can do is if they ever add story replay though, we can just follow the rules on our main accounts, right? And then just pick up where we stopped. And uh, that would actually be nice. It would, we'd be slightly cheating because we would have like skipped a bunch of farming. But, uh, you know, we, we have those units and such. The only, the one thing that would actually hurt us, and this would actually hurt us a lot, this would actually make it harder, uh, we'd be less willing to grail those units. On those accounts, of course we're gonna grail those units. What else the fuck are we going to use our grails on? 
For our main accounts, we don't necessarily want to use those uh, resources on them, though. So that's kind of a problem. Hero proofs are nice, but I have so few of these. All right, let's see if I was right. Yeah, it's easier to be 10, 10, 10 and that kind of thing. We could always change the rules like as we go on is and add in a few more characters to balance things out. Or you do like a seasonal thing, you start over and be like, hey, for this season, play through the game, these characters are allowed, right? And you have pros and cons and some unique problems and stuff like on purpose. Like you have no, you have no single target saber, right? Uh, you don't allow any of those or whatever. There's There's some fun shit you can do like that. This account probably doesn't have very good options with uh, on-death CEs. But uh, we got that starting NP now, so it doesn't matter uh, very much. More, they have all that extra HP, but these bosses hit hard enough, it shouldn't be a problem. Uh, hard to say. Oh, wait, why don't we have... Oh, I, I, I did the CEs backwards. Excuse me. All right, this is about as broken. A like, coup could have four percent more Buster crit right now. That's one thing I could do, or coup could be stronger. But yeah, you can see it right here. Got thirty six. We got 30% extra attack up, 5% NP up, 12% quick damage up. Only 6% buster up though. Got universal 5% crit. Wow, look at all that. Is, is that 54% quick crit damage up? That can, what the fuck? That is so busted. Why did they get so much? Right, and then you have this 5%. That My quick crits are insane, dude. I got 30% Stargen up. My god. That incentivizes you to do quick, quick, quick then instead of rainbow. I didn't even realize that. God damn, dude. Interesting. Um, I guess we'll go Atlas. It's, it is... Ku's been pretty 50-50 on Atlas or default. Yeah, quick eaten really good with the skill tree system and they're doing that because people feel like quick is the least good right now But it's kind of stupid because uh, For a while there quick was the best because of scatty and now there's a stronger support So what if they had a, a support that's better than scatty and then quicks getting like double ahead and all I just There's no reason to make a permanent skill tree like based off a temporary game state, right? It's silly. Uh, one second though chat. I gotta grab water. Okay, yeah, this is interesting. So if you do a quick chain, right? Uh, like NP, that's quick. Uh, what is this fucking hand? What the f- what the f- I'm not doing my first solo like that, thank you. Um, anyway, if you do like Ku's NP quick quick, for example, 
you're not getting the rainbow chain bonus and you're not getting the first card buster bonus right so then the quick cards getting an extra you know boost uh is is fine i guess to an extent right but if you do uh a rainbow chain right and then the quick's not lacking those things then they're just getting ahead right by quite a bit and actually especially if you've got maybe a craft essence that has quick up on it or you've got the writing passive or both right there are various things like that when you do a rainbow chain um you may well want to put the quick card in the farther back than the art card even if um like you're you're not wanting to star gen right because you might put the quick card farther in the back anyway because you're focusing on star gen or something that turn but you may not you may be focusing on damage right and you might end up doing like art quick buster or if you do need see art quick buster you might not do though just because the um, the buster might be too much and then you might you might still want some a uh, bit of extra star gen and NP gain in there so you but you might do like buster art quick for example um because that's just that's so much quick crit damage up um and then especially if you have writing or, or any other nonsense like that your quick cards can actually get well ahead of your art cards i would say especially on a crit turn but uh it'll be interesting okay this is the complete opposite of last time where i had no NP gain now i have loads of NP gain uh pretty sure you go for megalos first that makes sense to me now i could do this to get the the burn right away it would lower my np gain though but i got a little bit of crit chance you know fuck it i'll do that get more damage for one more card and then a chance and then nothing crit that's only worth it if something had crit uh but nothing crit so now i i just scuffed myself on np gain for no reason but you know it could have happened um can you kill george pl well, I, uh, I paid for my good opening. If they had just killed him and he did evade, right, and I could just pierce vulnerability through it, now we're just giving them time to build up their uh, NP gauges. Thanks, guys. Big help. Bad turn. I, can't, it's, I, can't, they just, I think they cast two skills and they attacked once. Please remind me to zeet the app chat. If I lost this stage, that would be a catastrophe. I, I always forget I have this stage available to me, though. Uh, need to uh, do better with that. Okay. I'll do the tried and true here. Especially because the art card's got the higher crit chance. And nothing crit. So we had a 20, 20, 20, nothing crit. And then we just had like 30, 0, 50. And out of all those crits, nothing crit. And I think if like two of them or if just the buster had crit at some point, we probably would have already broke. Man, now I've got no need of my NP because he doesn't have enough life left. Um, Fuck, man. That's, that's no fun. Like, I need to cast my guts out now just because of the cooldown syncing up. I, fuck it, I'm not gonna do it. Uh, this might screw me over, but I'm not gonna do it because uh, I'm greedy and I want to see if I can uh, save it. Wow, what is that damage? That was like 70k off that quick card, and it's not. Uh, we didn't have the attack up or anything. Jeez. Oh my god, he has quick resist down, you fucking fool. What have you done? Megalos, you're throwing, buddy. I should probably face tank one turn here. I could obviously invulnerability uh, and then do this. Can he quick charge? I don't remember if he can quick charge. <sighs> Fuck it all in vulnerability because I'm not sure. I want to play it safe. Five hundred and twenty-five thousand, and that's only like a twenty percent quick down. So he still would have done five hundred thousand. Chat, that's like he can do about five hundred thousand there uh, on his own, and he's not at low HP. So I'm not getting the bigger attack up. So he'll actually do more than that. 
Oh, and we're gonna get another 5% NP damage up from the skill tree. And a bit more quick damage up too. I can probably kill Megalos right here. What was that damage? 120,000? And by the way, the Buster's gonna get a lot stronger because we got like that Buster crit up that was like right there. What the fuck is this? This needs, chat, this needs to be a video. I need to make the Karna experience video, but I need to make a ultimate coup video. I should at least get that Buster crit up too for it. All right, do I wait until the skill tree is done? What do you think, chat? Because the skill tree will make it even more impressive, so. Uh, now he's gonna get Pearson Ron ability in a second here. I might as well get rid of this Stargen down. Yeah, probably wait, and you, then you can name the video like the strongest coup fucking possible or whatever, right? Uh, cause like there's 5% NP damage on the table, there's 20% quick performance up. There's uh, some generic crit up. And, like, there, there's a lot still to be had. Yeah, no, no rush. I've got a lot of coup videos as is. Kind of sucks we didn't break there. I think I'm gonna heal because he's got double crit up. I'm actually worried that he could just one shot me here, and that would really suck. Uh. I should get the NP gain that I need no matter what. Oh, I didn't apply burn. Whoops. Uh, I fucked up. Yeah, I forgot to apply burn that whole time. Yeah, I, I could have, uh, yeah, Zeet the app. Yeah, thank you for reminding me. I probably could have killed him. Uh, that broke that bar already. Okay, actually, I want him to fuck me up. I want him to fuck me up so I get low health, so I get my bigger thing. Hit me. Hit me, come on. That, no. Bro! You've got double crit up, but there you go. God, my, my man had double crit up, double buster up, attack up, and he's over here doing like a quick attack or some crap. Like, what the fuck was that? All right, um, it, it is very stupid of me to cast guts here because it's gonna no effect my guts. There's literally no reason to do that. I could just do the attack up later, but I I just wanna see the numbers. And I'm, I, I know I gotta eat the app. I know, no, I'm, I'm gonna put in slow-mo. We're gonna try to make sure uh, I don't fuck this up. But, um, but yeah, thank you for reminding me. We've got burn, so we get the 40% damage. Uh, and then we'll do uh, uh, that. I got my finger on the button here, because I, I do like having this stage, absolutely. One sixty-four at complete neutral, dude. That 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 is crazy. That's like that's a total neutral. No, no mystic code buff. No attack up from the mystic code or any of that kind of nonsense. And we weren't even at our lowest HP yet either. Um, and I don't know about alignment. I don't know if we were at alignment uh, positive or negative. Let me look. I want to know. Let me see. Uh, coup. All right, coup is sky. And Sky is weak to man. I bet you Columbus is man. So actually, we were at uh, we were at the negative there. So not even neutral, right? Yeah, I, I'd be surprised if Columbus wasn't uh, man. I guess he could maybe be star or something. I don't think they would do that though. Yep, he's man. So we were uh, we were missing out on a pretty good chunk of damage. So we're, we're looking at like maybe 180, like 180k there, and then there's low high rolls. So, fuck, man, that that is wild, and it's gonna get it's gonna get higher because we're gonna get more quick up and we're gonna get more NP damage up from the skill tree. Jesus Christ, dude! And now that we got that 20% starting NP though, it makes Yang CE better because you'll get your first NP smoother uh, because you got that 20%. So, whew. big fan, big fan. All right, Chad, I think it's about time we bust out the, uh, the the drip, the drip tier list. It's been a little while since we've done that. Maybe do that for like an hour or so. I do got something I want to do uh, tonight in about an hour, and I want to try not to miss that. But we'll do a bit of a drip tier list.
I'm not exactly ready because I thought I'd be using like more of the units that were buffed, but then I realized there was really no reason to do that. Okay. There's my riders. I'm pretty sure I saved our tier list as it was, so we should be good to go. Yeah, here we go. I got it, chat. I just gotta size it to the screen correctly because it's not at all. I'm cutting too much off here. All right, good enough. About right. A little bit on the uh, other side there. Alrighty, for those that have not seen me do this, we've been working on a tier list for drip, and we call it that, but it's it's not really just the drip. It's not just their clothes and stuff. It is their overall aesthetic, so eyes and hair and weapon and all that matters. Their character doesn't matter. The voice acting doesn't matter. Right? None of that matters. It's just the character's aesthetic, uh, overall, uh, you know, style, if you will. And uh, we are like midway through writers right now. All right, well, funnily enough, uh, we're on Columbus apparently. Oh, hold on, I have to actually make the uh, tier list here. We were just like previewing it there. All righty. So Columbus, after getting his ass beat, ironically is uh, the next one up. Oh yeah, I need to get my... Uh, other tabs in here. Should be sized correctly, no problem. All right. Um, now, it's not really about the art style, right? We're not really talking about that. It's more of the design. I think that's like the fair way to do it. Um, I actually love this. I, I, I like Columbus a lot. I, I can enjoy a like merchant looking, you know, sea faring guy with a little bit of pirate in there, right? That's kind of what they're going for. Um, you know, it's pretty over the top with this, like, this crazy big, uh, beard, like, with it being really long and thin like that, and it, like, defying physics. That's a little odd, but it definitely gives you the vibe that he's evil, which I actually like. I, I enjoy this kind of evil. Um, honestly, kind of a weird use of purple with a purple, burgundy, black, and all that, but it works. I, I don't think I would normally like that, but I think it works here. Uh, really no problem. I don't like this. This, like, string thing going on. That's like that. That's like the one thing I don't like. Cool sword, like the jewel, uh, saber, I suppose. Uh, but yeah, that's a, a saber. A uh, really good hat, really good hat. The hair is fine. Yeah, just like that classical evil-looking seafaring bastard, right? You really get that even without knowing his character. Now this just looks like a design where they tacked on random things after the fact. Now I get it in context. They're going for like he pillaged this loot. Is what they're doing, right? But if you just see the design, it's not about does it make sense, it's does it look good? And the answer is no, this doesn't look good. Just like slapping these jewels on and they, they, they don't fit, they're out of place. And I again, I get it, they're supposed to be out of place, but that doesn't make it look good. This does not look good. It, it looks like it is. These are very out of place and they don't sync up very well. And now we're just going cra like emperor of the sea kind of look really extreme over the top. I don't know about this like shelf on his shoulders kind of thing, right? It's kind of cool that he incorporated a cross there and all that, but I don't like like these knee pads. That just looks dorky. Uh, the colors are nice. I'll definitely give it that. These colors are good. And the kind of evil emperor look, I don't mind. Um, but no, the first stage is the best. And I don't like the big sleeves. I don't like how there's a lot of like red, like with this eye being red and the eyes down here being red and then this is blue and the jewel on the sword is blue. That doesn't really work for me. Uh, still good hat though. I mean, if I saw this without the other stages, I would say I still like it because it, it's still like a sea, ba sea emperor bastard guy and I like that. But the first stage is just the best. It's the cleanest, it's pure, it, it, it everything fits. I just don't like the string here. That's the only thing I don't like. I, 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 everything else I actually am a big fan of. I really dig this. I really dig this. Where are we going to put it? Uh, I'm thinking at least A. 
I, I would say it is in, around in here somewhere. I think I'm going to put it... How does it size up to Drake? Because I'm, I'm feeling it's about right here anyway. So Drake has got like the crazy awesome hat and the whole like boss lady. And I don't, when I say boss lady, I don't mean like woke Hollywood movie boss lady. I mean actual boss lady, right? So she, she's actually cool. And she's got the cool scar and everything. So Drake does, I will say the scar is pretty badass and she's got the better hat. And I actually like the torn sleeves. However, I, I do ultimately really like Columbus's uh, beard. I actually really like that. No, 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 that's for later. Uh, I really do like Columbus's beard. That's really, really cool. But this is kind of, this is more evil merchant, right? This is evil merchant. Drake is badass pirate. And I gotta say, I, I prefer the badass pirate. I, I really do. It, it, uh, Columbus has the better smile. That's true, but I don't know if we can count that. Because uh, we don't count their like pose, we said. Like, so we didn't get the praise the sun for Romulus. Uh, he does have the better smile. I completely uh, say it. But yeah, I, I actually think I have to give this to Drake. I think the badass pirate overall I like more. Uh, the more like ragged look a little bit. Uh, and I like the red coat and all that. Kind of classical like hook almost. So I'm going to have to give that to Drake. But uh, I'll, I'll put him, I think, I think it's right there. I think, well, is it better than Robin Hood? I do like it better than Bodica. Robin has just got the kind of weird leotard thing going on, the tights and all that, but he's got the really cool hood and all that, uh, and it's green. I think I will slightly give it to Robin Hood, but it, it is close. All of these are somewhat close, but Drake is a good bit ahead of these fuckers, I would say. She, uh, she got some good drip going on there. Still, that's a very good performance for Columbus. He did very well. Uh, all right, up next. I have never thought about this at all. I don't think I've ever dedicated any time to how I feel about Artoria Pendragon Altar, which is, is all they say, but, you know, it's also writer, like, maid, summer, whatever the fuck. Okay, so this is, like, really... I don't know, is this normal summer wear? Because it's kind of, like, more like a dress. It's kind of, like, in between, like, a cocktail dress or something and summer wear, so I don't, I don't know what the fuck that is. Uh, and then, so here's the thing. This is part of the aesthetic. You've got like the sword inside of like a, a, a like water protection wrap, right? Which again might make sense. That doesn't mean it looks good, right? It, it, it makes it look like a toy. I don't think it is a toy. I, I do think it's like water protection. I think this is just Excalibur, you know, Morgan that is just in water protection. I'm pretty sure is what it is. Either that or it's a balloon. Yeah, I guess it, this might just be a balloon that's supposed to look like that. I'm not really sure. Either way. If I saw this as just a design and I don't know fate, I'd be like, okay, why do you have a toy sword? But then you've got like a gun that looks like a completely normal gun, right? That doesn't like, sure, you could go with like, you know, assassin lady at the beach with a gun, right? Okay, sure. But then why this though, right? It's really at odds. It's still good colors, right? Like black's always, I mean, when, when is black bad? Like, really? You, you can't fuck up black. It, it's like cheating, but it looks good, right? And we're rating if it looks good. Black looks good, right? Um, cool hair and all that still, so that's all fine. But I don't know. It is kind of weird where it's just like some kind of weird hybrid of a dress and a swimsuit. And then uh, she's got like a toy sword or whatever. I mean, let me look at the picture here. That does be looking like a toy sword. Oh, yeah, especially with like the uh, this like outer bit. Yeah, that, that's a, this is, oh my god, this is a toy. There's nothing in this. Oh my god, now that I see this, it, look, there's no, like, actual sword inside of the balloon or anything like that. It's like a 2D picture of the sword on both sides. That, it is, it, it's really easy to not notice that from the side in the sprite here. But yeah, that is just, that, that, that is really at odds with the rest of it. Okay, so here... This does not work, okay? Pick a lane. Like, what is even happening? Like, what, what is even happening? Why are you doing, like, swimsuit, but then maid, but then jacket? Like, th this is this one's just weird, right? Like, you can't... Chat, I'm gonna say it. You're gonna be mad. Chat's gonna be mad at me. Maid plus swimsuit is not a good combo. These two things do not sync up, okay? It doesn't. Like, what the fuck? Either go maid... Or go swimsuit, right? Pick a goddamn lane. 
Like a million percent pick a goddamn lane. If you went full maid, that's fine. Or friend swimsuit, it's fine. Doing both just looks weird. It does. I, I don't know, man. I, I don't. I don't think this really works for me. Okay, adding a scope to the gun is cool, right? And you could do a maid with a gun, right? And if you want to do some like anime fan servicey maid with a gun, that's fine. But that's not what this is because it's like a swimsuit. It's not like an actual maid get up. And then you have this like more modern jacket. Like, look, this jacket is cool, sure. It's completely out of place here, right? So if you wanted to do like anime fan service made with a gun, that's one thing. But you did anime fan service made with a gun that's also a swimsuit and then also has a jacket that has nothing to do with anything. Okay, this is this doesn't work. This is way too chaotic. The only nice thing I have to say is the gun's cool and the colors are fine. But it just no, this does not this does not work. Okay. Um. Now, okay, is this not a toy now? Please tell me this is not a toy anymore. I have to check to be sure. That doesn't look like a toy. Okay, that I think this is just normal Excalibur Morgan. So what this looks like now, if I just saw this design, I knew nothing about it. I didn't know it was fate. You know, I would assume this is from a story, you know, like I keep saying, but it's a good example because there's many stories like this. But I would assume it's from an anime like, like certain magical index or whatever the fuck it's called, right? Where it's got kind of, it's like anime stuff, but then there's kind of a fantasy twist in there a little bit, right? Where people have magic and stuff, right? So that's what I would assume. And that's fine. I don't think that's too weird, you know, like with a magic sword and a magic gun or whatever. Like, that's okay. You know, it's, it, it's not maybe my cup of tea, but like, I, 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 you could see this in something like uh, magical index and, and whatnot. Uh, she'd get her ass kicked by accelerator like everyone else, but Anyway, so you got the trench coat is cool guns cool um, I don't know about the dress. I, I'm not again. I'm not hating on fan service, but it looks just kind of weird Right because the trench coat is really heavy and then the dress is really light And then I'm just gonna be honest this weird like strappy thing going on down here just looks really stupid, right? Just be normal for God's sakes like, Jesus Christ, this would look better if it was just cleaner and you didn't have all this, like, chaotic strap stuff. Just have normal, like, stockings or whatever. Don't do- don't do anything weird here. Um... I mean, if you think about it, Accelerator jobs, like, against the main antagonist, but then ends up winning anyway. I mean... Or, or main protagonist. Like, he- he wins a lot. Like, like, a lot, a lot. Especially when it's, like, normal fucking characters. It's not even close. Uh, and people also have to have very contrived abilities, right, to be able to do anything. Uh, and, and seriously, he still beats most fuckers. Like the rank two guy got his ass kicked and all that. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't think Saber or Ulther is gonna do shit. But um, I mean, this is fine. I don't mind it. You know, the coat's cool. I, okay, the the one thing I really don't like, like I can put up with the weird strappy thing. Right, I think it would look better if it was just normal. But, uh, you know, I could put up with that. I think the dress would look better if it was normal. The one thing I don't like with this is the tiara. I don't, I, that, why? Even if you were a princess, why are you then, like, why would you wear that when you're wearing, like, this trench coat and the gun and all that? That I don't like. That just looks silly. But the colors are fine. Uh, I've always thought Excalibur Morgan looks kind of stupid. Uh, I'm gonna be honest. I don't like it that much. I like this gun more. Um... And I don't really like the red right here, right there. I know it's like matching here, but I don't really like it. It's also not the same shade of red. It's like more pink for some fucking reason. That's like, yeah, the tiara and this part of the sleeve. Uh, that's like the two things, but it's still fine. You know, I like the, uh, I do like the colors. You know, it's, it's decent. It's way better than the other two. It's not even close. See, that one doesn't have the jacket, which in some ways is actually better, I would say. But, uh, okay, stage three it is. No question on that one. More of like the mafia boss look, right? It's like mob it's she's like a mafia boss in an anime with like magic, but she still uses guns because guns are practical, right? And that's good. I like that, right? So it's pretty good. Um she will go. Hmm. Somewhere in here. So, you know, this is more normal looking, but I don't I don't like the armored with the skirt look thing. I've never been crazy about that. That's the one thing that really holds this back. Um, but this does have some weird elements like the tiara and all that. Uh I'd probably put it like right there. I, I do think the kind of like 
mob boss look. I do like a bit more than kind of poofy dress mixed into the armor here. Uh, you know, it's not nearly as good as like the armor that we see up here and such, so. But it's good. I mean, B is not bad. I mean, you know, C plus is pretty neutral. Then high C plus is a little good. And then B is like, yeah, this is good, right? I, I like the design. It's just not like anything I'm going to be like freaking out over or anything like that. It's just, it's good. It's okay. All right. Ishtar Summer. This is not going to do well. I, I haven't really thought about this one in comparison to regular Ishtar. I guess she's missing the giant bow that looks atrocious. So there's at least that. But, I mean, anyone that's seen my list, I think, knows where this is going to go. So, one, no shoes, so fuck off. Uh, this thing looks fucking stupid. Uh, These, like, little belt things are dumb. I don't like the colors. I hate the blue mixed in with the pink right here. I actually hate that so much, I never even noticed it. And then she's got, like, this proper jacket, which is all right with the cool hood and all that, but then you're not wearing any fucking pants. That looks stupid. Look at your, like, they're just... It, that doesn't look good. I'm not saying seeming human skin is a bad thing, but if you want to show skin, you can do it in a way better way than this. This just looks sloppy and stupid, right? This is like trying to rely on fan service without actually making a good design, right? This looks moronic, just not having any pants. This just straight up looks like she forgot to put her fucking pants on. That's what this looks like. And this leg thing looks awful. And it looks like Christmas right there, so super fuck off with that. So there's a hint of Christmas for no fucking reason. No shoes. The bottom doesn't match the top at all. It doesn't even look like a, you know, a swimsuit thing at all. You wouldn't even think that if you saw this. This back thing on the hair looks fucking dumb. Uh, it sucks. It, it, the, the bull's awesome though, okay? I'll, I'll give, this is the, I'll give this a slight saving throw here because of baby bull of heaven, right? I can, I can respect that. But that is not enough to save every other bit of a, a, a catastrophe of, uh, yeah, Bull of Heaven's fine. He's actually got a nice design there in his, like, kiddo form, man. He, look, he's got his little serious face. He's got his horns, right? He's, he's ready to go. Uh, but the rest of, I mean, this is really bad. I really don't like this. I mean, it's just, this is such a chaotic look with the top and bottom. I think that sucks. Like, I, I, I again, even if you like, you know, fan service, you can make fan service that looks so much better than that. That is just so shite. Um... Yeah, it's, it's definitely down here. I would say, uh, like right there. Pretty low C, C tier. Uh, it'd be lower if it wasn't for the bull. The, the bull gives it the nod over, like, these pieces of shit, for sure. But, uh, yeah, it's not, it's not god tier. Uh, ironically, even though Ishtar is a god. So, uh, okay, Ivan. Now, I gotta say, I don't really like Stage 1 Ivan too much because it just looks like Player 2 colors or something. It's kind of obvious with that one. So that's probably not going to be the winner. Uh, the one we used. But yeah, it just looks faded. It just looks faded compared to the other ones. Why does this never work? So, okay, it really is between these two. Now, I've seen a lot of people go with say, Stage 2 over Stage 3. It's very common. I think they like the contrast between the red and the blue. But I'm gonna say it. I don't fucking like the contrast between the red and the blue. I don't think that looks very good. This still looks cool. This still looks like a badass monster king, right? I absolutely love that. Uh, if you have no context, you don't know what's going on here. This just looks like an awesome anime villain, right? That's ready to conquer the world. I love that. Um, I love the glowing chest and the spikes and all that. It just looks badass. Uh, but this just looks better, right? Now you got, now he's like pumped up with anime energy, right? Now his face is like glowing with like bl blue lightning energy stuff. And it is same for his, uh, like tusks or horns or whatever. Uh, and he's got, you know, the cracks here and all that. It just looks awesome, right? This looks great. And the blue on blue works, right? There is a threat of too much blue, but this isn't it. I think the crown looks way better as blue. Th this, and like the hint of gold with the blue is making it work, and it goes into like kind of bronzy here, but that, that's a little strange, but it works. This is just good, right? You got the like, and like you can get away with no shoes because it's like a monster, right? He's got like big stompy hoof feet or whatever, so it's fine. Um, yeah, it's, I, I like the, I like his uh, cane thing, staff. You know, it, it's kind of like, weird looking but it kind of matches like his of course he's not gonna have like a fancy fancy human staff he's a monster he's gonna have a, like some weird monster staff right makes sense uh yeah i love this design i love it i love the the bone belt uh just cool big 
evil monster king ruler. You know, I'm all about that. I am all, I love my monsters. We've had very few monsters to talk about, right? I, we, it was very obvious I like suits and armor, but the other thing I really like is I like my monsters. And this is a goddamn monster king that's got a really cool blue lightning aesthetic. That's why I like the blue cape, by the way. Like the blue cape, one, is just better than the red. I don't like the blue red contrast. But then the blue cape goes with all the cool lightning stuff he's got. And you could say, well, you can't see that. But you can see that because the lightning is coming out of the cracks and stuff. So it is part of the aesthetic. Fuck you. Uh, that is... Is that... Yeah, that's stage three. He's got, you got the blue crown. I can see it. Uh, this is going to be pretty high. Either a high A plus or low S, I think. I think this could make it into S. I, I think this is a... Somewhere in here, it's somewhere in here. Um, I mean, Gilgamesh doesn't get the Gate of Babylon or anything like that as part of his aesthetic, I would say. I'll give it right there. I'll put it right there. It's very good. I, I like my monsters. So yeah, it is a big boy S tier. Like, so good. I love that design. This is one of the few five stars in the game that I really wish I had that I don't have. Um, yeah, I've generally been able to get the ones that I want, but he's not rated up at good times and things like that And now everyone else has got like NP3 and crap. So I'll, I just have NP1. It, it just sucks But uh, whatever at least I get to enjoy using other people's Ivans because uh, yeah, he's super cool All right, Achilles. I've been looking forward to this one for a while Now stage one doesn't look bad if you saw this design I mean, it's it's you know black silver cool spear guy or whatever, but it definitely feels like it's just missing something, and that's because it is. This is just better, all right? We got way more armored bits here. These shoulders give it that classical Greek look. I love that. The hint of color with the orange is totally fine. Obviously, it, carrot jokes, but this looks good, right? This looks like a very classical Greek hero, and I like classical Greek heroes. But you know the one thing classical Greek heroes do a lot in their designs that I don't like, chat? Sandals. A lot of cool Greek heroes, and when depicted in anime, or in, in movies, or in statues, or whatever, they have sandals. And I think sandals look stupid. It doesn't matter that they had sandals a lot back in the day. They looked bad back in the day. They looked bad now. They'll look bad for thousands of years. Sandals are lame. And look at this. Achilles doesn't have no goddamn sandals. So he's... Be now, I will say this, like, weird weaving in thing, right, going on. That's a little weird, right? Like, I I, I could do without that on, on the legs here. It's better on the gauntlets, but I, I could do without that on the legs. But it's not a, it's not that bad. It, everything, it, it's still good. This design is clean. I like my Greek heroes. If you give me a Greek hero without sandals and green hair, yes, please. And this spear is perfect. This is probably my favorite spear, honestly, in Fate so far, because it's a little fantasy, but only a little. Only a little, and I love that, right? It's a nice, clean spear design with just a little bit of fantasy in that, and I like that. I like the uh, the scarf, right? It's just a hint of color, that's fine. It'd be fine without, but it's fine with. It doesn't detract. Uh, yeah, I know, you get sand in your sandals. It's insane, dude. Um, I love the color green. Obviously, he's green. It's a good, great shade of green. It, it, it gives him that s just... He's got like that sleek hair that goes with this speedy boy, you know, thing that he's got going on, which you don't necessarily know that when you just see this design. But yeah, this is an anime Greek hero that's very classical. It's not weird. That gives it massive bonus points, and it's green hair, so it's even better. Awesome spear. Love the shoulders and all that. This is great. I fucking love this design. It's incredible. Uh, stage three, uh, fucking sucks, and now it's a space Greek hero. I don't like that at all. That's just weird, and it's just, it's too weird with the colors. I don't like the gold and the, the, like, faded green. I don't like that. I don't like the, like, like, weird, it's like trying to look skin tight, but it's not. This is not even remotely skin tight, but it's trying to make it look like it is. This little neck thing coming up, like a turtleneck, fucking sucks. Not good. I don't like this at all. It's only saved by the fact that the hair, that Achilles still got really cool hair. Right, I like the cut of his jib, right? Achilles just has a really nice design, but uh, I, I hate this design. It, it's garbage. Uh, and here's an example. Like, Romulus, Super Romulus pulls this look off a million times better. It's so much sleeker. It's so much better. It's not even close. This, this is... This is Super Romulus at home. This is a, this is a shitty cosplay of Super Romulus. 
Th th this is a, a guy that wanted to make a, uh, a cosplay of Super Romulus and he did a terrible job of it. That's what this is. This is so much worse. And you know I'm right. Don't lie to yourself. You know I'm fucking right. Super Romulus looks a million times better if you're going for like that kind of space armor kind of look. Not even close. Now, if you're gonna do a summer get up, this is really good except for the baggy pants. I don't like the baggy pants into this shit. Like these exposed ankle thing, like your pants are too short, right? Not a fan. I like the gloves. I like the gloves. This is a good use of orange. I, honestly, this is an excellent use of orange. Uh, uh, orange and black like this looks really good. He's got his little buddy here that's ready to kick some ass, right? He's got the goggles. It'd look better if the goggles were down, but it's still- This is a very good summer getup, honestly. It's a shame that I won't use it because I like his stage two so much. It's just not going to happen. But I think this is one of their better summer getups. I really, really like it. I, I love the, the dude on his shoulder. The goggles and the gloves and all look really good. This black, black, orange thing looks really good. Uh, it, this down here is weird though. I will say this like baggy pants into the like into the nothing on the he uh, uh, Achilles heel funnily enough uh, but yeah the, the ankles right I don't like that that looks kind of stupid but I mean the, the the shoes on their own are okay they're a little weak but they're not they're not terrible uh, but yeah this is good this is a great summer design it's one of my uh, my favorites um, I, I don't know about the the jacket tie around I don't really ever like that making like a jacket look like a skirt I don't I don't really dig that this would look better if this was just gone to, to, to be honest but that's not a big enough negative to have any, like, pro it's not a problem. It's fine. It looks really good. But stage two is the winner by an absolute mile. It's not close. It's better than all the other ones combined, I would say. Uh, stage one is still fine, but, um, yeah, st stage two is where, it, where it's at. Uh, this is S tier. This is, I love, I love classical Greek hero. No sandals. Like, what, what an upgrade. Uh, green, because like it, Alexander the Great is kind of got a similar vibe about him, and he's got those earth colors and all that, and that's cool and all that. And he's got the cool beard, but he's not green. He's got dumb sandals. Oh wait a minute, uh, we forgot to rate Achilles' ride. We've always been rating the rides, uh, and especially chariots and horses and all that. We have we've rated that for everybody, so we gotta we gotta be fair about this. Uh, why do you bastards not have a single picture of 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 Achilles's? Oh, no, they do. It's right there. Okay. Uh, why do you use stage three, though? I don't think stage three changes the design. So, you know, it's very, like, fantasy, very, like, sleek and all that. It obviously looks better with better CGI, and we'll just ignore that. But I like it. You know, it's a little spacey, right? It's a little spacey, which is a little... It, it, it's at odds with how normal his stage two design is. Um, but the horses look normal. I like the different colors. Got the little green jewel there. That's obviously awesome. Not much armor, though, but, you know, what are you going to do? Uh, but they're cool. They're solid, cool-looking horses. Like I said, Green Jewel is nice. This chariot is inoffensive. It doesn't do any damage. It just doesn't, like, maybe help as much as it could. Um, I would say a Alexander the Great's got the better chariot. Uh, this is definitely beats Bodica's, though. Bodica's chariot, uh, was pretty, uh, shite. But S-tier, I'm gonna say... Man, it's up there. I love this design. I'm a big fucking fan, and I love me some green hair. Um, makes a good highlight here. And then the no sandals, I just... Chef's kiss, man. You don't understand how much of an upgrade that is. I'm gonna say it is right... This this is, uh, this is tough. It, it's definitely in here. Can he overcome these guys? These guys are pretty damn badass. You got I mean, you got let's not kid ourselves here. These, these boys are pretty cool. He has no helmet. It's true, but he does have green hair. And if you're going to expose your face to show something off, showing off green hair is the thing to show off. But, um, so I've thought about these two versus each other a lot. I like how this guy has a spear and all that more. I really love that. And like that unique face mask is so cool. But overall, I think I do like the saber a little bit more. I've been so back and forth on that. It's so close. But I do think the saber is a little bit ahead. Um, I do think they can hold off Achilles just barely though. He is so hot on their heels, right? It is so fucking close. Uh, th th these top S's, man, are really damn good. E even up to Dar. I I'd say th these ones right here, like uh, Aggravate and Up, are a, like, a little notch ahead. Uh, of Darius and, and below, but like everything in S tier is fucking phenomenal. I love all of these so much. But yeah, th these four right here, and even these five are so fucking good. Uh, but yeah, seriously, I I love these guys. They are so cool. 
playable win. Wouldn't that have been a great anniversary thing? That would have fixed everything. We'd just add those to FP summon or whatever, and then uh, that'd hold me over and, and to like fix the UI proper and all that. But uh, no. All right, we rate these as a duo as we have done before. They're probably going to fare better over here. Uh, I got to say, uh, Ryo was it Ryoma, you say it? Uh, he was kind of holding them back with their Lancer form. Uh, like, she had an awesome drip, but he kept fucking it up. Uh, yeah, pretty, pretty good here. Now, weird that she doesn't have shoes. Uh, she at least has socks, and I know she's flying, and I guess that, that context is obvious. That's not really unique to the pose. She just is flying. I guess that's okay. It's like a ghost lady, so she can kind of pull that off. Uh, cool scarf thing, right? Got the cool black hair, cool red eyes. He's got the cool hat. That hat's actually fucking awesome. Uh, not, not too fancy, but fancy enough that it's looking pretty good. Uh, I'm not crazy about katanas, but it does work here. Uh, he's got, they both got, like, the cool black hair. It works. Uh, yeah, it's good. This is really good. You got the spooky ghost schoolgirl kind of look going on, I guess, with the, uh, you know, cool guy in the awesome suit. That's obviously, like, a military guy, right? It works. It works. I think it's, it's good drip. Um... It's clean, right? There's nothing weird going on, right? Other than that she's a fucking ghost. But that's, like, kind of the fantasy element that's, you know, rather obvious. I didn't realize there was a helmetless sprite. I mean, he looks cool without that or a hat. But the hat's amazing. The hat's got tier. The blue-white looks great. Kind of a Ma Michael Jackson look when I think about it. But, I mean, it works. It's fine. Michael Jackson, but Japanese, and with a goddamn katana. Um, nothing really bad about this. This is fine. Uh, I like the colors a lot. It's really good. Uh, the red eyes really pop. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, the inner red hair, that's fine. I don't, I don't mind that. It's not like a huge pop. The only issue I've got here is the hair is getting a little insane, right? Like, it's a, a little much. Maybe maybe have the hair stop here. It's one thing to have long hair, but my god, this is... That's insane. And this starts to get to kind of, like, weird out here with all this extra bits going, like, that long and whatnot. But overall, this is fine, right? This is just spooky anime girl, right? And then the hair makes it better, right? So, and the, and the cool eyes and all that. But yeah, it's a good duo. It looks nice. It's clean. Uh, Japanese drip is normally not my favorite drip, but this is some of the better Japanese drip we've seen. And I think the hat really uh, helps carry it. I think this is going to do quite well, honestly. There's not a lot to say. It's just a nice, clean design. I like my, my clean designs. I like my suits and uniforms and... Uh, all that. So, we'll say... I'm, I'm thinking B plus or A. B plus or A. I think they can make A. I think they got... They, I like the cut of their jib, right? They got a, a nice look about them. We'll, uh... We'll say... Right there. I think that's fair. Now, that, that that Solid A. That's very positive. I, I like it. All right, what's next? We got time for maybe one or two more. Lou Abu Rider or Red Hair, however you want, whichever way you want to meme with this. But uh, Living Horseman. It's not even really a centaur at this point because he's like a horse, right? Like almost through and through, but then like a centaur. It's very strange. Uh, you don't need context to see that's what's going on. Which one of these is best? I, I maybe this one. I don't know. I don't really like the. Um, the use of colors, I gotta say, for really any of these, it's always a little off. Uh, I do like the brown, right, uh, and all that. I don't really like this head thing. Um, I This is just, I don't like the yellow, silvery, white, green, into like almost pink red, and into like almost purple, really dark purple or faded purple. I don't like all the colorful stuff. I like the design though. I, I, I you know, it's a, one of the better uses of kind of Chinese armor, I would say. I do like that. And I, I can enjoy a centaur horse monster man, right? I, I don't, I like the concept. I, I don't, I mean, I like it. It's just the colors hold it back a lot. And I don't like this head thing. This head thing is like the one big negative. Uh, the colors aren't so bad that I, I hate it. I'll say that. I can, I can stand them. I, I, I can stand these colors. But um, yeah, I, I can appreciate just the, the horse monster dude look. Um... Yeah, I do think stage two is the best. I think this is maybe getting a little too far with the colors, right? It does look like fire, but if it, I'd like it more if it was actually fire. Like if it was literally fire instead of just like bushy stuff, I think that would be better. And it is kind of weird with the rest of the colors. And then the first stage just looks like it's missing something, right? It's just lacking the, the extra armor and stuff. 
Although the green works better here. I will say the green yellow works a lot better here. It really does. Like the colors are the best, uh, hands down. This is the best colors of the lot, but the lack of armor just looks less good. So I think the extra armored bits, even though the colors get more chaotic and I don't like it nearly as much, the armor itself just looks good enough that I think that wins. So I like it, but the colors hold this back, but then the horse monster kind of look helps it out a bit again. Uh, I think we can get a solid B. It's either, yeah, I think it's, I, th I think it's a B. Um, I'd, I'd say like right there. I mean, that's a pretty good performance to be honest. I, I don't think that's too bad. Okay, even though his cannon looks fucking ridiculous, I think it still beats Thinno. Uh, sorry, Ace. The cannon is what holds this back. If he didn't have the cartoonishly large cannon, he'd probably be uh, B plus or A. Probably A. Excuse me, I just had an allergy moment. I just sneezed. But, um... Uh, yeah, that, that cannon looks fucking stupid. Um... I think I got time for one more chat. I might do one out of order here. Chat, what do you want to see? We got, we got time for one more. What what do you want? Throw some names at me out of, out of these riders. Who do you want to see? Best friend? That would make sense because uh, he got buffed last night or this morning. Rider class? I thought about that, but maybe we save that for like the finale. That's a big one. That's a lot of Ricky. There's a lot of... All right, Ricky it is. Ricky it is. Where is he at? The friend, chat. Now, I love... Man Ricardo as a character big time. He's like very high on my list. I don't know about his drip though. Let's see here. Like Ushi, it is very chaotic with the colors, but it's not as chaotic with the colors. And it doesn't look like his clothes went through a blender. I mean, this is uh, Ushi, but better. This absolutely is Ushi, but better. I can enjoy the like beat stick with spikes. I like that. It really, the only, it's either lose the yellow or lose the red, right? And then like replace the yellow with more white or black or something like that. I think that would look a lot better. And I really don't like the red in here. I, I really just don't. But the purple is fine. Uh, you know, the black on yellow looks fine. It's, it just pick a lane, right? Something needs to give, something needs to give. But it's not that bad. I will say for some of the more vibrant colors and whatnot, this really isn't bad. And I actually, I think these like armored bits look pretty cool. The boots look cool. I think this kind of like tat tattered skirt ribbon thing is actually all right. I don't mind it. Uh, I, I like the hair. I like the hair. I love the beat stick. I think that's really cool. You know, obviously he's got like the showing the chest off kind of look, but I think, I think it's fine. Works decently well here. It's not too much. Um, I like it. I mean, I like it, but it, uh, the red is really, and the more I look at it, the red is what needs to go. The red fucking sucks. And they do this a lot in Fate Designs. But there's already too many colors, and then for some reason, they gotta sneak red in there. Like, fucking why? Make the red purple, make the red black, make the red white. It would look way better. Look way fucking better. And you can still get rid of the yellow as well and make the yellow white or something, but the, ye the yellow can stay. I think it's all right. But the red needs to go. The red is the one color here that is dragging this down. That's really the only negative I see. I actually like this design a lot more than I thought. Um, it, I don't really like this, though, where it's like knee armor and kind of poofy and, you know, pretty there and then super skinny all of a sudden and then really poofy and armor again. That just looks stupid, right? It's like skinny, bulk, skinny, bulk, and like that kind of knee into the shins or whatever. I don't, I don't like that. So that's the whole bit's kind of dumb, and the red needs to get the fuck out. Everything else is pretty good, though. It's not like, even though there's nothing wrong with it, it's obviously not speaking to me like all this fucking cool armor and suits and stuff do. But I do like it. I, I, it's actually one of my favorite, like, really bright, vibrant, multicolored designs we've seen. I, I like it. When I really examined it, I actually liked that more than I thought I would. That's quite a surprise to me. Um, I think it's a B plus. I think it's a B plus, chat. I'm gonna say, thank God he doesn't have sa sandals. If he had sandals, it were, I'm thinking it'd be B or uh, C plus. But thank God he doesn't have that. that not, nothing runs a look like fucking sandals. Um, there's There's been some people here that have pulled the sandal look off okay, where it doesn't like drag them into hell. But this is like such a, a good example of if it had sandals, like all of this is the same and all just randomly sandals, like Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, excuse me. We gotta, we gotta factor in the horse. We've been factoring the horses for these people. That, my, my apologies. That was a mistake. Oh yeah, and the costume. 
Please give me a sprite with the horse. There we go. Damn. Damn. That horse got drip. He pulls these colors off way better. Yet again, the red needs to fuck off, though. Literally, just get rid of the red. The red, red's fucking stupid. This is nice. This is actually really good, though. Great. The yellow really, really works. Like, this is like, I like the face plate and all that. A little bit of armor throughout, but not too much. This is really good. And he's even got, like, the hair to match uh, Ricky's hair, funnily enough. This is a damn cool horse. I did not realize how, uh,. Awesome of a horse Ricky had there. Yeah, that's really, really good. Uh, that definitely helps him out a bit. It's a good combo. Now, this is a pretty good uh, summer design. Now, I'm just going to, again, I've been saying this. This looks stupid. Stop doing this. Stop doing pants that aren't long enough with no socks. Either wear socks or get longer pants. Pick, like, do one or the other, right? Either have pants that go down to here or wear fucking socks. All right? It doesn't look good. This jacket is incredible. This jacket is 10 out of 10, right? Like, the, the green works, the yellow and purple work. The jacket looks great. Tuck your fucking shirt in, young man. I do, like, if I saw someone, like, walking down the street like this, I, I, I would not be impressed, right? Like, you got, you got sloppy shit going on down here. Tuck your goddamn shirt in, all right? Guys, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna say it. We can't do the midriff thing. We don't got what it takes. It doesn't work. Now, maybe if you do a more, like, exotic look, Egyptian look like Aussie. Okay, you can do that. Guys can pull the shirtless look off. You can do that, no problem, right? You can do the sleeveless look. You can pull that off. The midriff look does not work on guys. Stop doing it, all right? I'm just going to say it. We don't got what it takes. You know, just go shirtless, right? If you're gonna, this would look better if it was shirtless, for God's sakes. But the combination of not... And it doesn't even look like he's doing it on purpose. It just looked like he forgot to tuck his fucking shirt in. That's what it looks like, all right? So the combination of not tucking your shirt in and then whatever the fuck is going on here is not great. Now, I'll also say yellow and green, normally I don't like together. I, it, it, it works a lot better up here where the green is very scarce, right? Uh, it's all right. However, you could ditch the yellow here, right? And make this like black or like dark purple or, or whatever and that would still be fine. Because the weakest part of this, I would say, is this yellow and green right here. But the, the, the string here looks really good, right? And the buttons look really good on the blue. That looks great. But the shoes don't look nearly as good. This, this is looking sloppy. The shoes themselves are fine, right? Some cool sneakers or whatever. But the colors ain't, ain't doing it for me, right? I, honestly, this is a great summer design if you would just tuck his goddamn shirt in. And, and like, I don't know about these pants. Like, that's not really working for me. Like, you know, like Emiya's summer get-up pants are way better, all right? Um, it really is, dra uh, it's hard to deny, like, it's hard to miss, right? Like, the shirt and ankle thing drags this down a lot. But still, the rest of it looks good. Uh, the colors for the most part work. I do like the jacket a lot. Um, if I was gonna rate it, which I'm not going to, but if I was gonna rate it, I would probably give it... I mean, the jacket's pretty baller. Um... I, it, it might make B+. Plus. I don't know. If he tucked the shirt in and he either wore socks or had longer pants, he'd pro it'd probably make A. It would probably make A. But without, I, I'm thinking B-ish. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking it'd be like B-ish. Something like that. Which is not bad. Now, his regular version is so much better than I thought, though. Um, still, not, still not entirely my cup of tea, though. I will give it... Right there, under Trista, not quite over, but B plus is very respectable, right? B is positive, B plus is quite positive, and it's high B plus. So this is, this is a good rating. I like it. I like uh, Ricky's, Ricky's drip. I, it's actually better than I thought, and and the horse really helps out too. Yeah, the horse is very cool. I don't know if Ricky's horse changes with the, uh, in in his summer skin. I I'll have to check that. Maybe during the summer event we'll uh, use some summer Ricky. All right, chat. I'm gonna wrap up there, so I got a little bit of wiggle room to eat real quick, and I got some stuff I want to do. I might have a bonus stream later tonight, depending on how real life stuff does. Uh, but we will do, we'll revisit the drip list as we go. I always enjoy it. This is a lot of fun. I can't wait to get to some of the stuff out there. Uh, there's a lot of interesting stuff to get to. But, uh, thank you guys so much. I will see you guys soon. Though I do need to take some time off soon to start working on the Karna experience video, but I can do that whenever. Uh, but thank you guys. I appreciate you. We will raid Cairo because he raided us earlier. And as much as I hate to say it, he's a good guy. All right. Bye, ya, chat.